Yo, 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 you watched that new Ryan Reynolds movie, Free Guy? I saw it. It's, it's a pretty sick movie. I watched it today. It's a gaming movie. And if you really enjoy gaming and you enjoy gaming movies, you should go check it out. It kind of reminds me of Player One. But this is more like artificial intelligence, intelligence type of thing. Type of thing. Uh, yeah, so you should go check out that movie. They also have some popular gamers that pop up, pop up in the movie, make guest appearances. But we're going to be talking about today, Dear Evan Hansen. Dear, the new movie, Dear Evan Hansen, which is a musical movie. So right before I start this review, I just want to say, for starting from now, spoiler warning for anyone who You've wants to watch spoiled. this movie and hasn't seen it, You've because we're going to be going warned. over the movie. So we're going to be talking about Dear Evan Hansen. Now, Dear Evan Hansen, I, I've seen some critic reviews. They say it's a really bad movie. It's like a plot twist in the movie. It's kind of like a dark and a light movie. I did not know it was, it was a musical. Like, uh, the, the beginning, when they started singing at the beginning, it kind of confused me. I'm like, does, any, does anyone else hear him singing? Or is that to himself? Because nobody was looking at him. So it was kind of to himself, and I couldn't tell if characters were singing or talking normally, but that's just how the musical was. So, Dear Evan Hansen, I mean, if you like musical movies, you should go check it out. But it's kind of a kind of dark movie. You know, it's about this guy. Uh, he, he meets another guy who happens to take his letter and and, he, and that guy commits suicide. And um, the, the main character, Evan Hansen, and the guy that commits suicide, they're very similar. They're both lonely characters. But the thing with, the thing with Evan Hansen is uh, he has social anxiety. So he can't really talk to people. I'm not sure about the other guy, Connor Murphy. I'm not too sure about him. But what we're going to go over is it's kind of a dark, twisted movie about... You know how, like, when you get trapped in a web of lies, you keep on going? That's what happened to Evan Hansen. He gets trapped in a web of lies, and you kind of, uh, you get angry because uh, he's he's continuing these lies. But if he tells, but the, there's a dark part to his lies and a good part. The dark part is he's telling lies, he's creating false memories, he's making false truth to show false hope for people. But as, as a matter of fact, a lot of people do that, I know. And the false hope that he shows in the movie... It, like, it changes a lot of people's hearts, like not everyone's alone. Also, another thing I wanted to point out with the sister, she also played a major factor in the movie. It was kind of the girl that he was in love with too. That's how some of the lies got spread because he would say that when he was with Connor, he would talk about her, they would email about her all the time. And uh, he would say all these things, but those were his feelings towards her, not actually Connor, but he would tell her that it was Connor that was feeling these things, that would talk about these things. And she, she like had mixed about wanting to believe him or her, him or not. And uh, he was kind of really into the sister. That's what helped bring the lies. But the sister played a major f role. Her name was Zoe. And uh, the funny part was, it, this was one of those movies where you always think that, like, it, that the girl that's involved, the same girl in love with, who's connected to the victim, that he would start to get it. But it, they get closer and closer, you know, and they're always getting close together. And, and, and I like that concept. But I'll let you find out on your own when they get together or if they get together. I mean, when they get together. Well, you're going to have to figure that out when you watch the movie. And let me know how it goes. And or let me know what you think. And and the funny the funniest part is at the beginning when, when Connor comes and says, Hey, no one signed your cast. I'll sign your cast, right? Because he kind of has some, he has some problems. And uh, it reminded me of It. You ever watch the first movie to It? And Connor, like, he writes his whole, his, he doesn't even, he doesn't care. Because this guy doesn't care about anything. So he writes his whole name on the cast. And it just reminded me of It. In that scene where the girl, where the girl sees the kid, I mean, I show you the scene right now. The girl sees the kid. She's like, "Oh, boo hoo! No one signed your cat." And then she wrote, writes the the words "lover" like a huge, huge letter. Like uh, uh, she just writes it on the cast. Like she doesn't give a shit about anything either. No friends, huh? Your cast. No signatures or anything. So sad. I didn't want it to get dirty. I'll sign it for you. But the thing with this movie is, uh, I think a lot of people found it bad because they said the main character is kind of like a sociopath. Um, I don't think he's much of a sociopath because sociopaths, like, they have lack of conscience. But he did have a conscience. He kind of felt bad for what he had done. Uh, they had, uh, but he was kind of antisocial. He had trouble fitting into this new age. He had trouble fitting into society. And the, the web of lies kind of, it kind of helped him because he felt like more like he was a part of something. He felt like he was a lonely kid. He felt like he was a part of a family. And the web of lies also helped everyone around. So it was a dark movie because uh, the part in the movie I was waiting for was the part where if you saw Evan Hansen, I, I was waiting for the, the truth to unravel and how it would destroy everything. 
but because I know at the beginning the lies they were kind of harmless, but like everything the lies get harmless and more harmful and more harmful. And I, I thought I feel like a lot of people got angry at the character because he would just uh, he was just taking everything and he was lying to people and then he would get he would try to block off the truth. I mean one other person knew the truth, but he would try to block it off. So he would tell these lies and when people didn't believe him, he would t he would create fake emails, he would create all these fake stuff. But the thing about his lies were that. It, although they were dark and uh, he was he was lying to all these people, he was showing people the truth that not everyone is alone. And there's there's a lot of sad songs in this movie. There's like one funny, uh, happy song, and that's that's when they're writing the emails, uh, like the fake emails. But yeah, so I feel if you do like this movie, and the I'm not sure how people feel. I feel like a lot of people didn't like it because they kind of hated the main character for what he was doing. But if you're under that much social pressure and the people they just want to know things, and he is social anxious, you're gonna you're gonna accidentally say a lie, which is gonna lead to more lies. So uh, the movie overall, it was it was kind of a plot to I was really getting pissed at the main character. Because I feel like he was going to take all these things that weren't his. And uh, he he started lying to everyone around him. And uh, you know how lies work. They like At first it's kind of twisted. until And the fact is I did not expect. I expected him at some point to say the truth. But I didn't expect like. Because it was backlash. Because everyone started getting angry. Not at him but at the family. So if uh. If you know, if you get angry at the family because the family's like rich and they, they have all this stuff, but they're still getting money from people. And this guy, he wanted everyone to know it was his fault, not anyone else's. But he kind of had the same mental issues that the guy that died. So th creating these false memories as he did made him feel like he was a part of something. It made him feel like he, he actually had a friend which he didn't have. An imaginary friend that was real that died that he told people he had a friend. So what I would say is overall, I will give the movie maybe a 7.8 or 7.5 or 7.4 out of 10. I did enjoy the concept. I enjoyed the, I, I, I kind of enjoyed the dark energy. The moment I was waiting for was the moment where he tells the truth and everybody gets angry at him, but that kind of did not happen. It was more that there was, I mean, people did get angry at him, but it was more backlash that they were getting more angry at the family and that's why the truth got revealed and uh, the funniest part is how the letter actually ended up in the wrong person's hands and this is like an overreactor so if you like musicals and you like movies like these you like uh, lie twisted movies you wonder when the truth's gonna be revealed I would suggest to go watch it it is a kind of it's kind of a long movie but there's a lot of music in the there's like so many unexpected songs in the movie I never understand the people are singing and uh, that's my review I did, I did kind of enjoy the mute movie. I enjoyed some of the songs that they sang, like the window song. Look, looking through a glass window. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I would suggest to you, hey man, I, I'm just working on reviews. So if you did, if you enjoyed this review, hit that thumbs button, hit that comment, hit the review, hit that subscribe button. Stay up to date with more videos and check it out. But this has been my review on Evan Hansen. It's kind of a dark, dark concept of all the lies that are going on. And it's a light concept because those lies are creating an actual truth too. It's like a half lie, half truth. The lies are creating a truth that everyone knows about the truth that they believe. Like you're not always alone. But at the same time, it's lies that are creating the truth that people believe. So I, I know a lot of people after they like believe this truth and then they hear that everything was a lie. That they go against it, but I don't understand what the point of going against it is, because he learned a lesson off the thing, and no one, no one really got like bullied him afterwards or got angry at him, because I feel like they did a lot of the stuff that he did, and uh, he, even though he believed the fake truth and showed everybody else it, that he got these all these people, you know, they got them all to believe in something that you're not alone, that they can be in unity to work together, and they all learned a lesson from it, even if it was a lie. So that's my concept of how I feel the movie was. Uh, but if you if you are in a concept where you're going to hate someone that's that's lying all the time and you're going to get really dark at him and you're going to just get pissed off, but you like getting angry and you like telling people to not do things in a movie, especially in horror movies, and I tell people, don't do that stupid thing. I know you're going to do it, but don't do it. That's all I'm going to say. Just don't do it, but they do it anyway. Then I would say, suggest this movie. Uh, check it out. But hey, that's been my review on the new Evan Hansen movie, which I didn't even know it came out today until I saw it came out today, and I watched it. So uh, this has been Case Movie. 
check me out, write a comment if you think I should do more movie reviews. Uh, I kind of am in the middle. I'm not that good, but hey, I'm doing great. So I'll see you next time. Don't have a good day. Have a great day.